Hello, welcome to the installation video of the Datsun 510 front cross member. So here you're gonna get the cross member, a set of motor mounts and a hardware pack, as well as two of these spacers. Now these spacers go in between onto the ears of this cross member. And now we're gonna go through the hardware pack. So you're gonna get four of these hex head bolts, smaller ones. You're gonna get eight of these washers, you're also gonna get four of these nylon lock nuts, followed by these washers. Now, we have these in there in case you need them in between here, most of the time you don't. These are pretty tight in there. Um, and then you're also gonna get four of these machined alignment washers. These go inside these holes and allow you to lock in to what hole you wanna put them in, as well as two of these longer bolts. They obviously go through and they are reversible, you can have it in the other way. And you're gonna have two of the associating nylon lock nuts. It's not really a whole ton that goes on with this. But notice here we have slots that allow for a little bit of ease of adjustment between chassis differences. So first we're gonna do a little bit of pre-assembly to make our lives easier. We're gonna go ahead and install the motor mounts to the cross member. And you'll notice our motor mounts are not welded to the crosshair, they're removable. This makes it easier for different engine swaps. If you're gonna have a custom engine, or we also make that KA SR20 motor engine swaps, as well as the L-Series. We are always exploring different engine swaps too. So if you have any recommendations and you think there's gonna be enough people buying them, definitely let us know. But it makes your life and our lives a heck of a lot easier to have these removable. So we're gonna go ahead and install these. You're gonna use these first three items. You're gonna put a washer onto your bolt and you're gonna put the bolt in from the bottom. Now, the reason you wanna have the bolt in from the bottom and not the top, because if you do it from the top, it'll hit the top two holes. Now, most people aren't gonna be lowering their 510 that much, almost slammed to be able to use these, so it's probably fine for most of you guys. But just for this, this application, we wanna do it the right way. You're gonna use it the top hole, and then you're gonna follow it up with a washer and a nylon lock nut. And the one thing that I would always recommend for you to do is keep them relatively loose that you can kind of push it by hand. You don't want it loose like this. You want to at least have a little bit of an application, a little bit of strength to it. So then you're able to just kind of push it forward and backward by hand. It's not really an issue when you're running the polyurethane or the factory rubber mounts, but if you're running some aftermarket solid mounts, you know, these hole locations, you're, you want that little bit of adjustment because the solid mounts is gonna be so fixed, it's gonna be you know, more difficult for you to adjust the engine and transmission, especially if they're bolted together, to get that to fit. We'd recommend just a little bit of slop and then we can torque them down once the engine is installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these for the rest three and then we'll be right back. All right, next, now that we have the motor mounts on, you can see here, they have a little bit of adjustability, a little loose, not a ton. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pre-install the control arm. So the biggest thing you'll notice is our cross member is reversible. You can flip it one way for other swaps and one way for certain other swaps. Uh, he's keeping the set factory L series, so we're gonna just run it this way. We're gonna go ahead and use the spacers, the bolts, and the washer uh, and the nuts to get this straight away. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select one from the bottom. A uh, good rule of thumb here is going to be, depending on what hole you choose, it's gonna be dependent on the ride height. So if you're running factory ride height, you can use the bottom hole because that's where a factory cross member would bolt to. Uh, if you're lowering about an inch, uh, I'd say anywhere about two, two and a half inches, you can run either one of the top two, three holes. If you're really slamming it, then you can go ahead and use the top two holes. Most customers don't slam it that much, so we're gonna use that one from the bottom. And just kind of pop these spacers in there. And put that nut on there. That's about it. We're gonna do that to the other side, and then we're gonna bring it to the car. To start off on the car, you're gonna to wanna to remove the factory cross member, hold the engine up with the engine hoist, remove the four bolts that hold the cross member to the engine, and then remove the bolts that hold the cross member to the, fact, to the chassis as well. <clears throat> then you can drop the cross member and we're gonna go ahead and install it. Now we're gonna also take it one step further because this customer is getting our full front suspension kit, we're gonna remove the front control arm. Take a look at the front control arm installation video to see how we remove the front control arm. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and pre-install our cross member. Now you'll notice when you remove them, they have these uh, little shins that came off. You can go ahead and reuse these. Now that you have that installed, you will notice that the cross member 
just has to get torqued down. You can go ahead and torque these bolts down to the factory spec. So next you're gonna grab the bolt, a washer, followed by another washer and a nut on the other side of this. Now you might wanna use an alignment pin to get these lined up and we'll catch you back once we get it installed. So then we went ahead and installed the motor mounts and the crossover permanently. We did end up having to loosen these up and we kept these loose as well, uh, but this kind of helped us get these motor mounts to our engine mounts in place. So you can go ahead and torque the motor mount bolts to the factory spec, uh, these bolts to the factory spec, and uh, our bolts are gonna be to around 20 foot pounds. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the control arms in the next video. Uh, here you can check out our B-rolls.